Today is about connecting your Timex training tools to your computer, allowing you to customize features and download and review your workouts. Today I'm going to walk you through the steps using the Run Trainer with GPS Watch, but this video should be helpful for any Timex Ironman GPS Watch or downloadable heart rate monitors. Let's begin by going to TimexIronman.com forward slash device agent. This is where you can create a free Training Peaks account. It's important to click through from the Timex site so you get the free version with some enhanced features and no advertising. Next, download Device Agent, which is a free desktop based software program. Follow the prompts, but there is a how to guide with step by step instructions on the bottom of the website. For Mac users, once you download, double click the file, then drag the Device Agent icon onto the Applications folder. After you have downloaded the device agent, connect your device to the computer. Our GPS watch is connected via USB cable, so the watch is actually recharged while you're downloading your data. Our race trainer with heart rate monitor is a wireless connection. There are two important tips to know about the global trainer with GPS. Make sure the charging clip is facing the right direction. You'll know that when you have the red dot on the charging clip matched up with the red dot on the back of the watch. Also, if you see the time of day on the front of the watch, that means you're in the power save mode. Power on and click through mode until you see PC sync on the watch face. Next, open the device agent. If this is the first time you're using the run trainer, make sure you have the latest firmware and there are two important steps here. First, download the firmware to your computer desktop. Next, upload the new firmware onto your watch via the device agent. Go to File and select Update Device. Then select the file you saved to your desktop. Don't unplug the watch while it's updating. You will see a status bar while the upgrade is taking place. If you have the global trainer, you'll need to put the watch in the correct mode before updating your firmware. See our step-by-step -step instructions on the site. Now it's time to customize your watch, the fun part. Double click on the device agent. Choose your product from the drop down menu, Run Trainer or Global Trainer. Then click the Settings tab. I'll show you some common settings, but there's a lot you can do all easily on your computer. Under the Time tab, you can change the time of day. And here's a quick note, if you click the Edit Date and Time, you can sync the time on your watch with the time on your computer. In the Configure tab, you can adjust your personal heart rate zones and user information. Very important. Next, hit Display, then Chrono. This is where you can set the information you want to see on your watch while you're running. I'll set my Run tab and my Custom 1 tab to give me a couple of options while I'm on the go. Again, you can see this in the above Display tab under the Chrono sub tab. Let's click back on the top line Chrono tab. This is where you can set auto splits for every mile that you run. Be sure to check mark either distance or time under auto splits. When you're all done, hit save so these settings go back to the watch. Downloading your workouts is just as easy. Step one, make sure your watch is connected to your computer and the device agent is open. Then click download and you should see each new workout appear on your screen. Then click save. Then click login to see these workouts in your Training Peaks account. Once your workout is downloaded, click Erase to remove the data from your watch. And you should do this periodically to ensure the watch has enough memory to record your next workout. To download detailed instruction manuals, go to www.timex.com forward slash manuals. Connecting and customizing your Timex training tools to your computer makes things a whole lot easier.